What is going on guys? Wiser here and I am bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. It was against the South Korean farming clan. Can't offer you much more than that. Uh, wasn't too too much adversity in this war. So we're just going to hop over. Check this out. 69 to 51 for Invicta. Fantastic job, gentlemen. Uh, really just ran the board on. I've got a TH10 triple in here to show you from Tater Boy. Uh, and cleared all the nine. So a handful of decent attacks. And the bases weren't anything too, too crazy. But uh, I know how you guys like to see those uh, random kind of form bases just getting tripled because you can kind of uh, relate to them more. Um, in fact, a handful of these bases, I know for a fact, I just saw um, <laughs> in my uh, mini clans uh, <laughs> farming war. So uh, whatevs, uh, you know, these guys really struggled, but good for them. They still stuck it out to 44 of 50 attacks. So nice try uh, for the South Koreans, but we are going to hop right in and check out Tater's sexy TH10 triple here. <clears throat> Uh, so a lot of town online defense, uh, defenses, I should say, um, nothing too crazy of a base, right? Some purple walls in there, but, uh, nothing taken away from Tater because he does a fantastic job reading this, right? Only 34, 35 heroes. So Tater's, uh, you know, the base is relatively even. I mean, obviously these heroes are a little bit lower, but still these T's tens with these infernos, it's not an easy thing to do to three star here. Uh, so Tate's gone in with uh, two golems there, has drawn out the CC, CC's gone down. Uh, that single target infernal really just ripped through one of those golems in a minute. Um, so that king is now going to be vulnerable because it is now ta uh, targeted. Uh, but the job is done because two air defenses are down. CC is pulled out, right? Uh, Queen's just kind of mopping up some uh, some trash buildings now. I think she does end up locking on to this Inferno Tower next. Yep, rages it up and down goes the Inferno Tower. So that is beautiful. Uh, and the air attack can commence. So only two air defenses remaining for three balloons. Uh, or sorry, three Lava Hounds. Wow, long day today. Uh, and 18 balloons. So goes with two rages, two freezes. And and a bunch of hastes. First haste goes down. It's going to kind of push everything in right to this little section here. Um, going to just do huge, huge work here. Uh, comes in behind the sweeper, so I like that. These loons taking out the defenses on the outside to continue everything right into that rage. Rage goes down. Freeze goes down. Good, good value in the expo, even though the expo is grounded, but uh, does the double freeze on that inferno. So just buying his balloon so much time out of that rage. Nice haste out there. He's got one more haste he's going to use to push over top of these Teslas and the expo. Down it goes in two seconds, I swear to God, or I lied, and he does, there it is, <laughs> down goes the haste, but there's really a cannon and arch tower remaining, it is clean up, sexy job, Tater, meat and potatoes, love it, three stars in the bag, uh, what I got next here, <clears throat> Couple of these top TH9s, check them out. Uh, QC is in the process of upgrading to Town Hall 10, so RIP QC. Um, from the recaps for a little bit, it is a huge, uh, I mean, unless she's planning on dropping a huge chunk of cash, it is a definitely uh, quite the transition period once you go from 9 to 10, uh, even when you're a max, max Town Hall 9 like QC is. So, you know, figured I'd show this one attack. I heart you, QC. Uh, good luck with Town Hall 10. It's a whole new ball game, but I cannot wait. Cannot wait to see you uh, start beasting uh, through some of these triples on these 10. So um, if you do it like this, <laughs> you're going to have a huge success. See the poison's gone down. Take care of the CC. The golems are in. These max heroes are going to get insane value. She ideally wants to get these two air defense. Um, obviously the CC, you know, the queen's dead. Um, but look, there's not much left of these golems. And still both air defenses are up, and those really the heroes and a wizard. So that first air defense finally goes down. King locks onto a wall, so really it is going to be up to this queen to get over to this air defense and take it out and watch. She is successful with that. Um, but great patience here, right? Like, uh, at this point in the raid, you got to start to worry. I mean, I guess your queen's starting to move in, but she is taking fire from that cannon. Good thing that king is doing some serious tanking in there, but look how low the queen gets. Rages it up. Boom, one on the mortar, couple on the air defense, mission accomplished. Here comes the air attack. Lava Hound in from 9 o'clock, couple balloons backing it up. Another Lava Hound in, couple more balloons backing up on each of those point defense. 
Haste goes down to kind of push the loons off of that cannon as soon as possible onto some air targeting troops. That quad Tesla is really the only threat with the air defense on either side. But look, Lava Hounds on both sides tanking all four of the Teslas gets like two balloon shots off with the Rage and all all of that, all six defenses basically went down in one shot from a handful of balloons. So beautiful Rage QC just ripped this base apart. Love it. TH9 will miss you. Beautiful. Tree stars in the bag. Moving down, I think we just go down one. Kickbacks number 21, stepping up and hitting nine here. Uh, Kick's done some serious work on that queen. Heroes uh, uh, really progressed. Um, I like this little queen walk with the Valks. I thought this was very creative. You know, this was one of the few bases. Um, I'm sure he stole it from somewhere based on the other base designs. However, <laughs> it is one of the few bases that is a true, you know, offset kind of anti three star style base. Uh, plus it's kickbacks 21 jumping up and hitting nine. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't mean a lot. Uh, the numbers obviously when it comes to town all nine, because as you can see, kick has a stronger army, um, based on the hero levels. Uh, I'm taking nothing away, Kit, because this was a sexy attack. Poison's gone down. Queen Walk is going beautifully. Queen's going to lock on, take out the dragon. Balloons are just going to die in the poison, not even make the queen. Down they go. Down the dragon goes. Queen's going to continue walking and is going to close off the walk with this golem going in here. Uh, cold blood, or sorry, shattered golems go in. Uh, going to get huge tanking from those six Valks. Has the double jump. So um, I rant all the time about the Valks double jump against these anti three stars. But look at what the jump's going to get him here. Two golems go in. Going to jump first. Let everything rate in. I thought I love that jump placement because he knows the Valks are only going to go to that core compartment. You got to really control where they go, especially if you're starting in the offset of the queen side. Um, because she needs to die and your Valks need to go there, right? So look at the precision on those jump placements, purposely forcing everything right up to that queen. And it works absolutely perfectly. Build the goes down. King's going to jump in, lock on. Valks lock on. Queen goes down. Those Teslas are going to go down. Bam, bam, bam. Queen is still doing work on the bottom. And here come the hogs with a uh, heel in the bag. So just going to feed them in. Work them into about, I think, this section. And then heals and gets a, a double value, I believe, on the, on the heel there. Waiting and waiting. There's the heal. No, he didn't get the double value. I would have placed it a little higher because he would have been able to heal the all those troops in the core as well. But how do you critique a three star like this? Just sexy attack there, kickbacks. Um, it almost pitters out, I was going to mention as well. Um, as you see, he's only got a handful of hogs. But look at this hero golem tanking for the hogs. Uh, does I think lose one hog maybe? No, not even to this cannon. Hogs jump over, take down the cannon. They tank for those two cleanup wizards, which was awesome timing on that. And then the golem it gives the golem time to step over and tank that cannon. Well, those last few hogs just take down the cannon, take down the mortar, and it's cleanup. Bam. Nice attack kickbacks. Queen walk with Valks. Tree stars in the bag again. Alrighty, what else we got? Check my little list there. Uh, 13, Homestar. <laughs> it's a pretty kind of crazy base. Um, fairly easy queen kill. Uh, and Homestar really uh, exploits that fact. Look at that, 34 hogs. Another thing is, um, not too worried about the double giant bomb factor because there's really nowhere except in those troughs that he could put a double giant bomb. So just off for the one jump. Uh, lures out the CC, uh, especially when you're in these farming wars, guys, take that lure and poison it. I can't stress this more. Um, I don't know. Maybe someone would disagree with me, but if the lure is there for five troop space or less, take it. Uh, especially when you see these farming wars, you see a lot of the, just the drag loom combos in those CC. Take it, double poison. You don't even have to worry about it. Then you can go in here like uh, Homestar does. Nice cold-blooded entry. My problem with the cold-blooded entry is the ability to create the funnel. But the fact that the queen was so close to the edge, all he needed to do was get the king to that one building and he was going to lock onto her immediately. Which he does. Queen goes down. 
Going to finish off that compartment with his heroes and send in the 34 hogs with three heals. And this base does not stand a chance against that as long as the heal placements are on. Giant goes down to a little tanky on those two point defense. Four hogs in on each of those point defense and just going to start sprinkling them in. Same thing on the other side. Huge value on that giant tanky three point defense there and really just sprinkles the hogs in all over. Double giant bomb on the outside of the base. That is just awful. <laughs> but the couple hogs he sends in takes that out. Uh, maybe it was a cleanup attack. Because he it seemed to know that he uh, he seemed to know that they were there, but um, just destroyed this base home star. Uh, I had to show this one just because I uh, I love <laughs> when a base is set up just right for you to just say you know what I don't need to bring anything other than hogs. Just one goal, my heroes, a few wizards, and hogs and heels. That's all you need. If you don't, if the guy doesn't set up his base right, guys. Take this every time on a cleanup. If you if you know he's got double giant bombs out there, if that queen is that easily killable, if you can lure the CC, just bring a bunch of hogs. Pay attention to your pathing. Pay attention to your heals, and you're gonna have some success. So cleanup time for the bazillion hogs left on the map. Nice job, home star. Another tree star in the bag. Sexy. All right, just knocking these off. I think I got one more to show you. Like I said, not too crazy of a war here, but. Uh, like showing a few of these uh, lower hits, especially you know like guys with 18, 18 heroes. You know, DH isn't uh, it doesn't have insanely high level heroes, uh, but same kind of thing. Look, one hog lure, poison goes down. Let's just take care of the drag loons. Our golems aren't going to take any damage from the dragon or any balloon drops, um, so they survive that much longer. It's, it's definitely, in my opinion, worth the double poisons, especially if you know that the, the drag loon is there. Um, I bring poison on a first hit. I'm generally a first hit attacker. Um, so I almost always bring two poisons because you don't know. Um, what if it's a witch and a bunch of wizards, right? Like if you don't know what's in the CC, you still have to account for something, right? Back in the old days. Yes, I'll take you back to the old days of Clash Clans for any of you new guys. When you had to bring a lightning spell to, to deal with the clan castle troops, that was no fun because <laughs> you would do that lure. And the troops would be all spread out, so you had to clump them up so the lightning would kill them all. Or you just had the lightning on the fly when you went in with your entry. And trust me, it was a pain in the ass. If there was a witch in there just straggling behind, you almost had to like choose whether you wanted to lightning the witch or lightning the wizards. Or like I said, you got to do your best to kind of clump them up. Whatevs though, it is what it is now. Poison, double, let's start, not just poison, double poison. <laughs> is an effect so use it guys because if it's drag loons in there if it's if it's anything but a golem and a lab out and even if it's those things it still does manage to help you a little bit um but really dh just kills this base goes in takes out that huge top section hogs already in under that heel ripping through these defenses here is you know where the double giant bombs are when you scout this base uh you all like if you at least know they're in this middle section uh you don't know what's teslas and what's dgbs um, quite often, I've, I've hit this base. This is what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. This is a base I literally just three-starred in my other war. Uh, while I did two, if you're looking for a different idea other than what DH did right here, uh, I earthquaked over this section. I funneled and sent in a bunch of Valks straight from six to uh, two golems, like eight Valks. Uh, healed the Valks there. Took out all the DGBs and all the Teslas and then just hogged, hogged the backside. Um, I didn't even know it was a first hit, <laughs> but you can just look at the base and know where the bombs and stuff are um, when a base is set up like this. So uh, yeah, that's a, that's a super successful, uh, I, I see this base all the time. EQ right there, sent everything into the core with some Valks, take out those DGBs, hog the backside with two heals on each of those sections. It's GG, TH, sorry, don't mean to talk over your attack because you just ripped this apart with, uh, <laughs> pretty much a shattered goho straight up with three heels so it, it can be done in so many different ways but sexy tree star in the bag another one beautiful job invicta uh love the war here guys really just mop the floor with these uh south koreans uh look forward to the next one um oops sorry i don't mean to do that we'll just hop back in and um, we'll check invicta's current war uh rocking the board here 25 to 8 against endless war so looking forward to this one it does look like these guys are a little uh going to put up a little more adversity than the last guys uh united states clan um i don't know i guess we'll see 
But uh, I am going to call it here. That does it for your wisdom from Wiser. I'm just trying to help you bag that next tree star. And until then, I'm out.